Now, a lot of people hope that if they've had the virus, they can't get it again, right? But researchers from around the world are working to figure out if that's actually the case. We know people who get sick and recover, they create these antibodies. But as 10 Tampa Bay's Bo Zimmer explains, experts are trying to figure out just how long that immunity might last. Researchers from around the globe are focused on a common goal, creating a safe and effective vaccine for COVID-19. If you only look at antibody response to either the virus itself or the vaccine, then after a few months, things don't look so good because people tend to lose these neutralizing antibodies. Dr. Eileen Marty from Florida International University in Miami says those antibodies produced after exposure to the virus initially do provide protection. But for many, especially those who tested positive but were asymptomatic, the protection doesn't seem to last. They develop the antibodies and then a few months down the road, where the antibodies, it's as if they'd never been infected. Instead, researchers are now taking a close look at the body's T helper cells instead. Going back to the original SARS virus, we knew that the, the T helper one immunity, that kind of immunity can last for years. But when it comes to vaccines, some immune responses can do more harm than good. And doctors want to avoid accidentally triggering COVID inflammatory syndrome, which first emerged in children and can cause severe swelling in key organs. We're trying to be super careful that the type of immune response is only the type that does us good and doesn't lead to any of these complications. And while encouraged by the current progress, Dr. Marty says even if we have a safe vaccine by the beginning of next year, it may take much longer to fully understand how effective it will ultimately be. We need to know how long it lasts. Now, Dr. Marty says some of those latest vaccines work by inserting a small section of RNA code from COVID-19 into a different virus that's not dangerous to humans. That teaches the immune where to attack COVID-19 in case they're later exposed to the actual virus.